So in this video, we're going to talk about half-life of a substance. So this is also part of the exponential growth and decay. Of course, we're talking about half-life, so this will be the decay scenario. So let's talk about what is a half-life. So here's the definition. A half-life, it's pretty much the time. So we're looking for T. So what is the time that it takes for a sample of the substance to decay to half of its original amount. So we wanna know what is the time that it takes for a substance to decay to half of its original amount. So that's pretty much what the half-life is. So let's take a look at our first example. So here is our first example, and let's see what we can figure out from here. So we have a radioactive radon. After three days, a sample of radon to 22 has decayed to 58% of its original amount. So this will help us to find the rate and then we can answer part A and part B. So based on that, so we know that this element is decayed to 58%, which is 0.58 of the original amount in three days. So 0.58 P naught is equal to some original amount e to the r we don't know and the time is t. So we're using the model p of t is equal to p naught e to the rt. So we know the amount it's decayed to 58% of its original when t is equal to 3. So this setup will help us to find r. So we can go ahead and divide both sides by p naught which will give us 0.58 is equal to e to the 3r. And then to, to eliminate e and to bring down the exponent, we can take the natural log on both sides, which will give us ln of 0 0.58 is equal to 3r ln of e. And we know ln of e, that's just simply one. So we have r is equal to ln of 0 0.58 over three. So that's our rate. So knowing that we can write down the model. So our model for this problem, it's going to be P of T is equal to some initial amount, which we don't know, E to the R, which is one third ln of 0 0.58 times T. And then again, I can simplify E and ln, but before I do that, I must take one third as an exponent so that way we have p naught e ln of 0 0.58 to the power one third times t and now you can freely cancel e and ln so our model becomes p of t is equal to p naught 0 0.58 to the power t over three so that's the model so, so now that we know the model, we can answer part A and part B. We want to know what is the half-life of this element. Well, that just means what will be the am amount when, what is the T so that the amount is reduced to half of its original amount. So we wanna know part A is what is the T so that our P of T is reduced to half of its original amount. So that'll be the setup. So let's plug this in. So we're looking for time into our model. So we have one half of some original amount is equal to the original amount times 0 0.58 to the power t over three. So we're looking for the time. Again, we can divide both sides by p naught to eliminate p naught. Then we have one half is equal to 0 0.58 to the power t over 3. And now I can take natural log on both sides. So that would give us ln of 1 half is equal to ln of 0 0.58 to the power t over 3. And then again here the exponent can be comes on the front by using the laws of logarithms. So we have t over 3 
ln of 0 0.58 is equal to, again, ln of 1 half, I can split that up using natural log, so that will simply be ln of 1 minus ln of 2. And we know ln of 1, that's simply 0. So what we have simplified this to is ln of 2 is equal to t over 3 ln of 0.58. And then now we can find t. So t is going to be, I can multiply both sides by 3 and then divide by ln of 58. So that's simply 3 negative ln of 2 over ln of 0 0.58. Now you might say this is a negative time. Well, it's actually not because ln of 0.58 is a negative value and negative three, that will cancel out the negative sign. So it's a positive time. Now this is good enough if you're not allowed to use a calculator, but if you do want to go further, this actually approximates to t equals, this is about, if you put this in a calculator, about 3.817. So that will be the number of days it takes for the substance to decay to half of its original amount. All right, so that was part A. Now, what about part B? Part B, we want to find how long will it take the sample to decay to 20% of its original amount. So now again, we want to know the time when will this substance decay to 20% of its original amount. So again, we're going to be using the same model right here, and we want to know what is the time. So this is part B, when, when the amount is reduced to 20%, so it will be 0.2 of the original amount. So we set this up, so again we have 0.2 of the original amount, is equal to the original amount times 0.58 to the power t over 3. And then again, divide both sides by p naught to cancel p naught. So we have 0.20 is equal to 0.58 to the power t over 3. And then again, we can take the natural log on both sides. So we have ln of 0.2 is equal to ln of 0.58 to the power t over 3. And then again, this can come down next to the ln. So we have t over 3 ln of 0.58 equals to ln of 0.2. And now I can freely solve for t by doing some elimination. So I can multiply by 3 on both sides and then divide by ln of 0.58. So that will be 3 ln of 0.2 divided by ln of 0.58. So that will be the time when it reduces to 20% of the original amount. And if you were to approximate this using your calculator, this would be about 8.86 days. So that's how long it will take for it to decay to 20% of the original amount. All right. So so that's pretty much how you apply the knowledge of half-life and other different scenarios. Now let's take a look at another example. So here's another example. We have radium-221 has a half-life of 30 seconds, and we want to know how long will it take for 90% of a sample to decay. Okay, so based on this portion, we can figure out the rate. And then from there, once we have the model, we can answer the second part. So it has a half-life of 30 seconds, which means when t is equal to 30 seconds, we, our amount is going to be half of the original amount. So that will help us to find the rate at which it was decaying. So we know one half of some original amount is equal to P naught E to the R and T is 30 seconds. So the way you would read this is it reduces to half of its original amount when the time is 30 seconds. Now let's go ahead and eliminate P naught by dividing both sides by P naught. So that would give us 
1 half is equal to e to the 30r. And then now we can take natural log. So I would have ln of 1 half is equal to 30r. And then we divide by 30 on both sides. Now I could simplify ln of 1 half, but I'm going to keep it as ln of 1 half. You will see why later on. So this would be just 1 over 30 ln of 1 half. That is the rate. So we have the rate. So what is our model? Well, our model is going to be p of t is equal to p naught e to the rt. Let's plug in r. So we have p naught e to the r, which is 1 over 30. Uh, okay, so let's just rewrite that. 1 over 30 ln of 1 half times t. And then again, I can bring this as an exponent for the ln portion. So we have p naught e to the ln of 1 half to the power 1 over 30 times t. And now e and ln can freely cancel out. So our model is going to be p of t equals p naught times 1 half t over 30. So that's our model for this scenario. Now that we have the model, we can figure out the, what the question is asking. So we want to know how long will it take for 90% of a sample to decay, meaning we want to have only 5% of the original to be left over. So that means we want to know 0 0.05 of the original amount is equal to the original amount, one half t over 30. So we want to know what is the time when it reduces to 5% of the original amount. So that's when you have 95% of the sample has been decayed. So again, we divide both sides by p naught. So we have 0 0.05 is equal to one half t over 30. And now I can take ln on both sides. So we have ln of 0 0.05 is equal to ln of 1 half t over 30. Again, t over 30 can come down as an exponent. So we can just rewrite that here, t over 30, ln of 1, negative 1 half, ln of 1 half. So now, now here, if you want, you can split this up, ln of 1 and then ln of 2. So we have t over 30 uh, times ln of 1 minus ln of 2. And then of course this is 0 and now this becomes nicer. So we have a negative t over 30 ln of 2 is equal to ln of 0 0.05. And now we can solve for t by multiplying by negative 30 and dividing it by ln of 2. So we have negative 30 ln of 0 0.05 over ln of 2 is equal to t. So that's the time when we have 5% left over from the original amount. Now if you were to again put this in the calculator, t is approximately 129.66 seconds. So that will be the time if you were to use a calculator. All right, so um, I hope the half-life idea makes sense. So that's it for this video.